What's up, YouTube? Zabaza of the Water here, bringing you an NU battle. This battle is against Kaza War, who I met on the Smog on Wi-Fi Battlefinder. However, he does have a channel on YouTube. What's interesting was, I saw that he said, uh, streaming live in his description, and it's like, what? What does that mean? What could that possibly mean? So I went ahead and challenged him, and next thing I know, he sends me a link, and I'm watching our battle live on YouTube, and that was just so cool. When I looked at his team, I'm like, okay, my goaler corrects pretty much all of his team. And no, correction, my goaler does wreck all of his team. But I'm gonna need to get Stealth Rock support up if I want to one-shot everything. So, let's get to this battle. Like I said earlier, uh, this guy's name is Kazo War on YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with my Shrimp, my Armaldo, which he leads off with his Macargo. Now, Macargo's can be running a couple different sets, Shell Smasher, Stealth Rock, so I just not want to, I'm not wanting to take a chance, I'm gonna go straight for the Rock Blast. However, now I see it is the Shell Smash set. So I go for the Rock Blast, and I see he's got weak armor, so I a uh, little help from weak armor, I need at least three hits to KO. I got my first hit, I see the second hit, and it looks like I might just get a third, I get a third. Down goes my cargo on the first turn, and I don't have to worry about any kind of Shell Smash sweep. So now he's going to send out his Stun Fisk, and I'm going to set up my rocks. And he's just going to go straight for the Discharge, I'm guessing to try and paralyze me, but you know, uh, I did invest, I am uh, max HP, so it's not going to do that much. I go for knockoff and I get static. Uh, yeah, heads up, guys. I'm gonna, you're gonna see paralysis a lot in this video. So I'm gonna knock off his EVO light as he goes for an Earth Power, and here I'm just gonna pull back and go into my Golurk because I'm expecting the discharge again, and there it goes. Uh, I'm gonna go for the dynamic punch just to, um, because I know these things are like physical walls, and I didn't think an earthquake would quite KO, so I wanted to try and get some confusion on it. So, uh, he gets me paralyzed with his static ability, so yeah, second poke paralyzed. And, uh, he hits himself in the confusion. Afterwards, he switches out to his Rotom, and I'm actually gonna go into my tankette to, uh, try and get, try and get rid of the paralysis. However, seeing Rotom and knowing that sometimes they run the trick set, like my Madam does, uh, I'm gonna go into my Gardevoir expecting the trick. So, now, uh, I'm just gonna go for Shadow Ball, because I expected him to switch. And he gets, goes for Thunderbolt, and he gets me paralyzed. And I'm like, ah, oh, son of a <laughs> So that's three paralysis now. Three. I'm going to pull back and go into my tankette. And uh, I'm going to take it, take that Air Slash quite well. And I'm just going to go for a... Um, I'm going to go for Heal Bell, as he actually goes for Pain Split this turn, which takes me down quite a bit, but not that much. So now I've got rid of paralysis on all my team, which I desperately needed. And here he's going to go for a Thunderbolt. And my HP's going down, 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 it's gone, thanks to a critical hit. And I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. So now I don't have my Cleric anymore. Uh, figuring that uh, Golurk would be a pretty good choice to go into, I go ahead and uh, switch into it as he sets up a substitute. I'm expecting the Pain Split here, and I'm just gonna break it sub with, uh, with a Stone Edge, since I'm faster now. So here's the Pain Split. It does enough. Not really a lot, but I can, uh, at least I've got a few more hits with, um, with my Life Orb Recall. So, here comes, he predicts a Stone Edge, it does almost nothing to a Stun Fisk, and I'm just gonna, uh, KO this thing with Earthquake. So, down it goes, goodbye, you ugly, ugly thing. Yeah, I never liked Stun Kit, Stun Fisk, I, I just, I've never liked that Pokemon. Here I go for Rock Polish, expecting a Sucker Punch, and he actually goes for Feather Dance. I'm thinking, ah, oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me. Who the heck runs this set? Apparently he does. So next turn, I'm going to go for Stone Edge, and I'm worrying it's not going to KO, but thanks to a lucky crit, it does. So, Hacks for Hacks, and uh, he's going to send out his Rotom, which is, Rotoms are pretty much paper frail, so I'm expecting this Stone Edge to KO. So down it goes, and I know, and now he's going to send out his Relic Camp. Now here, these things can be pretty defensive, so I'm expect I'm actually going to try and go for a, a dynamic punch to get some confusion off and hope it hits itself in the confusion before I try and take it out. And thankfully, it does. It hits itself, it hits itself, in, the, it hits itself in the confusion, and I don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to go for Earthquake KO next turn, and I'm going to unfortunately faint to my life or break coil. So double down situation, blind switch, I'm going to go into my Madam, and I think that his Zebstrak is actually his last Pokemon. So, I'm going to go for Psychic to get off the damage, and anything this Zipstraka hits me with, I'm going to get KO'd. Uh, he goes for Overheat. Yeah, was not expecting that. So, I'm guessing this is either some kind of special set, or maybe it just runs Overheat. Anyway, going to go into my Kangaroo, go for Sucker Punch, take it out, and end the battle. 